Oh. My dear, dear Zachariah, a pleasure as always to see you, and my gratitude for your help. Now, please, stop calling me Master. You're one of us now. What brings you here? I met a merchant fresh off the exchange who'd like to meet you. Strange. Some delivery I'm not expecting, or something else? He only said he had information to give. Didn't say what, but I thought maybe there was a chance he learned something about some relics during his travels. Relics are more of the great master's field of expertise than mine. I like to stick to molding our young recruits, but come, come. Let us see what this is all about. Really, you? Andrew? Can it really be? I hate to disappoint, Master Connor, but I don't die easy. And I have a little too much pride to just let myself be tossed out with the trash. We got some explaining to do. We did not toss you out with the trash. We just did not know how to help you. Your talents were uncontrollable. So we sent you away, hoping you would forget and move on. Hoping I'd forget? When? As ten years of my life wasted away at the hands of a merchant? I want my goddamn life back, asshole. I'm... I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could make it up to you. I... I don't know. But you can be damn sure I'll think of something. Get out. Andrew, I cannot tell you how remarkable to see you. Simply remarkable. Pardon me, Zachariah. You cannot know how unexpected this was. Thank you. I must now return to the source. Woo! Who'd have fucking thought it? A Technomancer spying on other Technomancers. Crazy shit right there. From where I've stood, it looks like you were all stuck together tight as hell. Shows what I know. Keep your mouth shut. I'm just shocked, Lieutenant, that's all. Shocked and, uh, just shocked.
Hey there, Fiora. Ah, oh, the... Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? Never noticed all the beggars in the neighborhood. This a new thing? No, no. They've been here way too long, if you ask me. And more and more keep piling in. They're ruining my business. Not a clue where they're coming from. All I know is they keep pouring in, broken, disabled. Putting it out there for pity. Clients coming around don't like that. Me and my colleagues would pay a hefty sum to anyone who could get them out of here and move them to the slums or somewhere. You could be that someone? Yeah? I can try. Hey there, Fiora. Ah, oh, the... Serum, sir. Got a drop for a poor war cripple? No, I don't. You gotta move it along, pal. Where you want me to go? One block over, any better for you? Listen, I'm sorry. I am. I get it. Life's kicked you in the balls, and you're just trying to survive. And if you were the only one begging these streets, it'd be different. But you're not. It's you and countless others making it really hard for the merchants to conduct their business. Merchants, who if I don't get you out, are more than willing to ask much less kindly. So I'm just asking you to move it somewhere else. Life might have kicked me in the balls, but it was the smuggler who took my arm. Promise to kill me if I leave these streets. The smuggler. I had nothing here. All abundance held for me was pain and trouble. Know what that's like? To only know misery? To be so desperate a bit of hope shines like the only ray of light you've ever seen. That's what the smuggler was when I met him. Promise of better. A chance to start again in Aurora where I could rebuild my life. Didn't work out that way? No, sir. Had me driven to a warehouse where I signed some papers I didn't even read. That's what hope gets you, I guess. Once he had him, he threatened to turn them over to the ASC if I didn't work for him. Pickpocket at the market and give him everything I stole. Which you did. Steal or die, which would you choose, sir? But even then, after time, I couldn't keep quiet. Too much pride, I guess. So I spoke up, and for my trouble, lost my arm and was sent to the streets to beg for him. I leave the street, I die. I feel to bring him enough serum, I die. I refuse his orders, I go to the ASC, I die. I ask you, is this living? It's surviving, at least. Hey, hey mister, you got some serum, mister? No, I don't. And you folks gotta clear out. Let's go. We gotta... You gonna protect us if we do? No, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you think? We leave, the smuggler will kill us. I've heard the stories. Promised to help you escape, then made you steal, then cut off your arm and thanks. That's right. But more than just mine, sir. Many more. Know where to find this guy? Yes, sir. At the station, sir. But you ain't gonna get near him just like that, sir. He'll see you coming blocks away. Look a little more poor, dirtier, and you might have yourself a chance. I hear you. Thanks. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always.
Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? Zachariah. Do you have any insight on that? Zachariah, he is the anti. How are you, Zachariah? I'm fine. And you? Good. How may I be of service? Zachariah Rogue. They haven't sent you to die at war yet? A damn disappointment. Does the name Andrew mean anything to you? A merchant's son whose dreams of technomancy died with him. A case study of someone trying to be greater than he was born to be. A lesson you might want to learn yourself, lest you risk the same ends. A mirror image of you, basically. A loser. Hey, I was told you could help me. That so? Perhaps. I heard you were the discreet type. You could maybe help me and my friends get out of fear. Leave abundance. Is that true? What's your deal? Political problems? Avoiding the front? Never mind, keep your silence. Better for all. Yeah, I have some contacts that might be able to help you out. But I don't do favors. It's gonna cost you. And to be straight, to get three people out's gonna cost some bribes to guards and officials. Not gonna be cheap. But if you got the serum, we can get you on your way. Brought you everything I could scrape together. Here. Good to hear. Good. Good. I'll take care of the rest. You got a map? Look here. Meet me in the Underworks. It's hidden, and it'll make it easier to sneak out. Zachariah, so your captain told you I was heading out, did she? I should be grateful. It is good to see you. Perhaps for the last time. I'm leaving for the front, as is expected. I wish... you could stay longer. Wish that I could as well. If not only to appease my concern for you. But their will moves more than my desire. So they separate us, as they always have. To keep us divided. And... I fear to further isolate you. Stay wary, mindful. You are in their sights, my dear Zechariah. You are the newest initiate, the youngest. And so to them, the most attainable. The shortest route to knowing our secret. Such is our world. 
We are pawns in a chess game played by imbeciles, clinging to nothing but illusions of power. The real power that illusion brings. Take care, Zechariah. Take care. I will. My word. Until we meet again, Master. I'm afraid this is more of a farewell. And it's Sean. Forget me not. It is always sad to see a friend leave. Especially when you know that he's going to risk his life every day. You must be feeling very lonely. It is up to you to earn a new friend to support you through hard times. A friend powerful enough. Have you thought about my request? What's a little secret share against a strong friendship, after all? I would be honored to have you among my friends, Colonel. But alas, I don't know what secret you're alluding to. I'm sorry. A pity indeed. Because you will find out, soon enough, that while I can be a great friend, I can also be a fierce enemy. See you later, Lieutenant. Here we are. A couple of idiots looking for a way out. So desperate they'll fall for anything. That really what you think's going on here? Why? You gonna resist? If that's the case, we'll just kill you then. Sorry, I'm not the lenient type, especially not with those who don't give leniency to others. Only thing you deserve is to die. <laughs>
Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? Your beggar problem's fixed. It was a little more complicated than it looked. Really? How so? They weren't here by choice. Poor folks got ripped off by a guy who said he was a smuggler. Told them he'd get them to Shadow Lair. Instead, he cut them up and made them work for him. Terrible thing to hear. Glad you put an end to it. Here, take this. Saving those people and our businesses. Slightest move, you're a dead man. I heard you put an end to the smugglers' trafficking, Mr. Manser. I am disappointed. Why is that? My concern? Oh no, I simply admired the man. Not for the income he scraped from his beggar army, but rather for the pressure he managed to put on the merchants without lifting a finger. With that said, anything having to do with crime is my concern. Maybe you will remember the next time before you stick your fingers in my pies. Now tell me. What do you want? What about the ASC? What can you tell me? Nothing you don't already need to know. Little happens that they don't see or hear, and their colonel's control over abundance grows with each passing day. I'm not telling you anything else for free. I just wanted you to know my services are available for a price hmm interesting a question though is it really the pay you're after Mansur or could it be the adrenaline those old graybeards at the source boring the living hell out of you yet I don't remember inviting you into my business if you need me just pay a technomancer for hire 
A prize indeed. Who wouldn't need such a thing? But you'll need to prove yourself first. The army has a weapon shipment heading to the front. I'd like for it to not get there. Why don't you use your rank to see that it makes an unforeseen detour to, well, me? This a test of loyalty? Fine, if that's what you need. I gotta go. Then go. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Heard you have some merch coming into the station. Need a hand with the delivery? <laughs> I might be a little brazen sometimes, but not enough to turn a lieutenant into my personal errand boy. Except that the shipment holds weapons, and if Vori get their hands on the weapons, it's gonna mean more danger for my boys. So let me give you a hand, in case not helping out ends up biting me in the ass down the line. Fair enough. Used to be Vori only dirty to slums, but they're like an illness lately, spreading like a contagion. Merce needs to make it up to the station and head out to the front. Thanks for the help. Lieutenant, what can I do for you? That'll be all. Hey, Lieutenant. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you get through here with a truckload of weapons. They need to get to the front, but you can't go through the slums with them. All right, that's fine. I'll just drop them off at the train station. Later, soldier. These beggars seem to be multiplying. Where could they be coming from? I'd imagine the slums. Lieutenant? Sorry, those boxes are for the front. Can't allow that load through this checkpoint. Alright, fair enough. 
I'll just drop him off at the train station. Thanks, soldier. Did you hear? They finally got the psychopath who took a hostage. Oh? How? A Technomancer officer. The whole thing was completely nuts. That lunatic only did it so they wiped his gambling debts. Can you believe it? Pretty easy to believe when you know who takes care of those debts. Lori, don't mess around with you or them soon, no matter how small. Tom complaining again the other day. Vori raised their tax again. Again? This is absurd. They already have their fingers in everything. Nobody is safe.
Mr. Manser, the sight of your face has started to give me agita. To what do I owe the displeasure this time? I got your shipment for you. And yet again, the loyalty of man is no deeper than his wallet. Hope your conscience is as easily appeased. I've got another little task. Only if you're interested, of course. A little unsavory, but your status might help to serve as a reminder to some of my more forgetful clients. A couple slum merchants seem to be facing some mild forgetfulness on the issue of protection serum. I'd love it if you perhaps help jog their memories for me. Can do. I'm going to send some company along with you to lend a gentle hand to make sure that the lessons learned and the payment, preferably, in serum, finds my hungry little hands by day's end, whether they want to pay or not. I gotta go. Then go. Sir, hello! What can I do for the fine officer today? Check out my merchandise. I have everything you'd ever need for hunting. You've been falling a little behind on your payments lately, huh? You know damn well if you want your shop protected, it comes with a price. Yes, yes, no, I know. Uh, of course, I just... It, it slipped my mind. Uh, my apologies. Here's everything I owe. I'm so sorry. Again. Officer, I need to talk to you. I, I'm sorry to bother you, officer, but I have important information about the Vori and their illegal activities. What kind of information? It's... I've worked for the mob. For months, I was put in charge of laundering the serum, but I, I can't do it anymore. The pressure it put on me, the fear of getting caught. So I have decided to tell the authorities anything they may want to know about the Vori's operations. Give them any evidence they need. But I'm scared, officer, for my life. I just need an escort to see the investigators. Can you help me out? Let me think about it. Of course. Sure. I need time to grab some documents the investigators will want to see. In the meantime, I'll just pray you'll agree to pick me up tomorrow. you're coming to get me, but I've got protection now. Hired them myself. I'm sick of getting pushed around, extorted, by you or anyone else. Damn shame. If you were a little more reasonable, it might not have come to this. to defend my business. Please, here, take my serum. You want to defend your business? Then pay when you're told. That simple. But no, you wanted to hire a little muscle to fight back. That was dumb. That was very, very dumb. That's gonna cost you. Break him. Make him an example for the others. I don't think I'm gonna do that. If I kill him, he's not gonna be around to pay next time. Doesn't seem like good business. I think he learned his lesson. Taking what he owes Anton and nothing more. Maybe you ain't understanding. It wasn't a suggestion. It was an order. Ah! 
Mr. Manser, the sight of your face has started to... Here's your serum. Well done, my friend. We are friends, aren't we? Your reputation's well-earned, violent and efficient. Here's a little something for your troubles. Can't say I'm altogether pleased with your tactics toward this merchant or your aggressiveness towards my men. Either I gained restraint, or you lost a revenue stream. Figured I made the right call. You didn't. Restraint is weakness, and weakness is, well, bad for business. So, let's say we try this again, with another little mission. One of the opposition's contacts is waiting for delivery. I didn't want to press too hard by assigning you to something so trivial, until the merchandise got confiscated by a guard. You'll find the contraband hidden in the barracks, you know the place intimately, I'm sure, so I'm counting on you making sure that this withdrawal gets to our client discreetly. Nothing's ever that easy, but I'll see what I can do. I gotta go. Then go.